In this chapter, we'll take a look at how we can create a photorealistic rendering in SketchUp using a plugin called Podium. It's important to note that Podium is not a free plugin. You can download a trial version of it, however, it is relatively inexpensive. With Podium installed as a plugin, go to Tool Palettes and select Podium from the drop down. Whenever you create any photorealistic rendering, you need geometry, reflections, and lighting. In this section, we'll take a look at lighting. Podium offers a great browser library where they have light fixtures that are already preset with lighting values. So we'll just browse through here till we find a light that we like. And I like this one here. And another one we'll grab is just this one here. And again, what's great about these is not only is the geometry really well created, but it also has illumination within the lighting component itself. This saves a lot of time from having to render, readjust the rendering, and see if the lighting works. Just going to rotate the light. And we'll set it in place. Looks pretty good there. Sometimes the scale will be off a little bit for what you need, and that's okay. You may need to right click and unglue the component, and then you can move this up. Now we'll just move this down a little bit. Looks pretty good. Aside from adding lighting fixtures, you can also use the sunlight. However, our sunlight's going to be pretty limited since this is a north facing facade. To compensate for that, we'll take the rectangle tool and draw a face here. We'll then take the paint bucket, select the light yellow tint, and apply that as a texture on this surface. Next, in the Materials properties of Podium, we want to select this material and make it a light power. And we'll set this for a light power of 10. We also want to make this hidden and then click Apply. Now, the rendering we want to do is from the staircase, and we don't want to see the Google Earth imagery. So go into Layers and just turn those off. You can then right click and update that scene. And now we can move on and add reflections to certain textures within the model.